An unexpected discovery by scientists at Lund University has identified a novel tumor-killing complex which may revolutionize cancer treatment. Formed by naturally occurring molecules, the complex kills many different tumor cells, apparently without damaging healthy tissue. We were doing an experiment to look for novel antibiotics, including uh, bacteria and cancer cells. And we were trying to prevent the bacteria from infecting. And when we did so using a human milk fraction, the tumor cells died. And we were off suddenly on a tangent into a completely different project. The active complex from mother's milk consists of a protein, alpha-lactalbumin, and a fatty acid, and has been named Hamlet as an acronym for human alpha-lactalbumin made lethal to tumor cells. In early studies, Hamlet showed effects in patients with bladder cancer, and this cancer type is now the focus for clinical trials. We were interested in urinary tract infections and working with doctors who also treated patients with bladder cancer. And so the idea came up that maybe we could try this new molecule to see if the tumor cells responded. And the effects of Hamlet on tumor cells are actually quite dramatic. In patients with a tumor, Hamlet is injected into the bladder via a catheter. Hamlet is contacting the outside of the cell and then makes its way into the cell very quickly across the membrane. It also travels rapidly through the cell into the nucleus. And in the nucleus it accumulates again and makes sure that the machinery of the cell which is necessary to keep, keep the cell alive is, is inhibited, is stopped. The patients shed dead cells into the urine and the treatment reduces the tumor size without damaging the surrounding tissue. In medical language, apoptosis, a natural, neat form of cell death. Which is the body's own mechanism of cell death when it wants to replace old cells with new cells. It's not toxic. The clinical studies carried out so far bring new hope for this large patient group. It's one of the most uh, common cancer forms uh, we have. And uh, if we just look at Europe, it's about 2 million people that actually suffers from urine bladder cancer today. It's actually one of the most expensive cancer forms to treat. And uh, the main reason for that is that the, these patients uh, have to go to the hospital again and again. A first phase one and two study has been carried out at a leading clinic for the treatment of bladder cancer the Motol University Hospital in Prague. The Hamlet studies are directed by Professor Marek Babiuk. We saw clearly that the Hamlet has uh, anti-tumor effect, so we were able to see uh, some signs of the death of, of tumor cells in patients who received Hamlet. So it was very, very positive. There are really no side effects. All side effects which appeared were the same in uh, the arm with placebo and the same in the arm with Hamlet and uh, all were related to the procedure but not to the substance. Uh, so it is really without any side effects. We will definitely investigate if it's possible to uh, cure the patients uh, for a long time or maybe forever. These are, will be investigated in the clinical studies that we will perform in phase three. Pharmaceutical trials are often complicated and time-consuming procedures. The development of a drug is extremely regulated. And we first had to go from using the whole Hamlet molecule to using a synthetic compound, which we were lucky enough to, to discover and to be able to develop. And then you, after you synthesize it in a factory, um, you also have to test it for toxicity, so you send it off to specialists who do toxicity testing, and if you're lucky, it comes back without a bad label, and in our case, it wasn't toxic for the bladder. You then contact the clinic and make the plan, the study protocol, the ethics committee, and also the, the local FDAs uh, of the country where you're doing the trial. And only after that whole process are you allowed to start giving it to patients. This whole process is intended for the safety of, of the patients to minimize the risk for side effects of new drugs. The synthetic drug candidate Alpha-1H derived from Hamlet has produced valuable data and the effects are not limited to bladder. 
as the scientists have evidence from animal models that Hamlet works against several other types of cancer. Initially, when we found Hamlet, we tested a lot of different tumor cells. And we found that many of them are susceptible. And this gives us and Hamlet Pharma a fantastic opportunity to expand. I believe that now we have, that we have positive data in bladder cancer. It's time to expand the activities of the company. In Lund, an international group of scientists drives the molecular development and clinical studies with great enthusiasm. I saw it as a great opportunity to kind of delve into my newfound interest of structural biology and kind of come in here and see what I can offer to then connect the function of Hamlet to the structure. And also just the fact that this is a molecule that's able to target only tumor cells and leave the normal healthy cells totally fine. I mean, that's unheard of. After my master's, I always wanted to do a PhD where I could actually work on any sort of a drug or a complex, which especially in cancer, and I think I actually got what I want because here that's exactly what I'm studying and these techniques are really good and they are upcoming as well. So I think this is really good. I really like working here. The most exciting part is obviously the drug to see the, you know, the transition or the translation from the lab bench to the, to the clinic. It can target the tumor cells uh, more or less independent on where the tumor is without harming the normal cells or the healthy cells in the body, which is unheard of. And carefully weighing his words, Professor Marek Babiuk cannot hide his hope for more effective cancer treatments to help his patients in the future. All patients will uh, applaud uh, any uh, situation when the number of recurrences or the risk of recurrence after TURB will decrease uh, or which would be the best if we can prevent TURB or if we can destroy uh, the, the tumor just with installation but uh, we will see in the future.